So we're going to talk about an adjacency matrix here. And an adjacency matrix is really useful because networks are really beautiful. I love drawing them, but they're kind of hard to understand. And they're also hard to perform sort of mathematical calculations on. So if we can take this and turn it into a matrix, we can then start sort of manipulating it mathematically. Now the process is really simple. We've got this little matrix here, A, B, C, D, E, A, B, C, D, E. And now we're just going to fill it in with zeros and ones. Um, now, if two points are connected, we're going to put a one at their intersection. If two points aren't connected, we're going to put a zero at their intersection. All right, A and C, or let's, let's do things in order. A and B are not connected. All right, A and B are not connected, so we give it a zero. Um, also, A and B are not connected. So there's going to be like a matching A, B, A, B. Okay, what about A, A? All right, A is not connected to itself, so we'll give that a zero. All right, A, C. A, C is connected, and so is C, A. Um, A, D. A, D is connected. A, E is connected. All right, let's do the, the matching ones. A, D, A, D, A, E, A, E. Okay, what about all the B's? So we've done B, A, so that's easy. B, 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 B is not connected to itself, so a zero. Um, B, C is connected to each other. B, C, B, C. Um, B, D, B, D is not connected. B, D, zero. B, D, zero. Uh, B, E is connected. B, E, one. B, E, one. Okay. C, C, C is not connected to itself. C, D, C is not connected to D, and C, D, not connected. Um, and C, E, C, no, C, E is not connected. C, E is not connected. D is not connected to itself. D, E, D is not connected to E, D is not connected to E. And finally, E is connected to itself via a loop. So that's an adjacency matrix. And then one thing I want you to look at with this adjacency matrix of this graph is that if I draw a diagonal line through this uh, matrix, it's symmetrical uh, because AC, AC, this lines up with this. Uh, so it's like a butterfly print. That one AE lines up with that one AE, folding it in on itself. Um, and so that's something to note here with this particular adjacency matrix in with these types of networks, this simple sort of network here. We're going to end up with um, symmetry.